everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a battle of the concealers. I am so excited for this video because I'm going to share with you some of my favorite concealers, some hits and misses, and hopefully you can chime in on the discussion and let me know what types of concealers you really like. I do have really high-end concealers to talk about today, as well as some really great drugstore alternatives. So why don't we just dive into it and duke it out. The first match of the day will be the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I am such a huge fan of this concealer, as I think every other beauty guru is um, because it is so lightweight, it goes on beautifully, the doe foot applicator is gorgeous, and the coverage is phenomenal. It blends out so nicely onto the skin, and it does leave you glowing. Does it have good coverage? Hell yeah, it does. So this is going to be a tough competitor to beat. My next concealer for you is the Yves Saint Laurent. This is the opponent. This is the Touche Eclat. I wish I had a better French accent so I could say that so much more sexily, but Touche Eclat is how I'm going to say it. Um, this is going up against the Urban Decay. It is a beautiful concealer. It does have light reflecting pearls in it. And as you can see, it goes on gorgeously as well. Very lightweight. The coverage is pretty decent. I'd say the, um, the Urban Decay has a little more coverage. Uh, this is more light to sheer, um, but it does give you some really nice light reflecting uh, pigments within it. So it does make you glow from within. If these two concealers were going into battle and just like, duking it out. Which one would come out on top? Both would. It would be a tie for these two. There is no competition. Um, here's how I actually use them. So the Urban Decay is a really great concealer for the winter time. Now I do live in Canada and Canadian winters can take a huge toll on your skin, um, but I find this gives you just enough coverage without looking cakey. It does not crease. Now the Touche Eclat I do love because it gives you a beautiful glow and for the summertime and the spring it is ideal. It blends seamlessly and it looks like skin but it covers up all the dark circles and possibly redness that you might have on your face so elegantly. Um, so I'd say they're both winners but they're both seasonal winners. Urban Decay for fall and winter, and the YSL for spring and summer. The next battle is going to be, drum roll please, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. So the second battle is going to be between the NARS Radiant Skin Concealer versus the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I am such a huge fan of the NARS Radiant Creamy Skin Concealer. I think I said that wrong, but the NARS Concealer. Um, the consistency is actually very nice, um, although the one downside would be the coverage and the way it blends out. So coverage, super strong and full, which is fantastic if you have really dark circles under your eyes or if you're trying to cover up blemishes on your face or any sort of redness. However, this one, it cakes on me. Now, it could look fantastic on anybody else, but at least on my skin, it does tend to cake, so that is the one con against this one. The full coverage of this concealer is beyond compare. Up next is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. So this is definitely going to be an opponent to look out for. I love it because it does come in a pump, unlike all of the other concealers you're seeing here today which have doe foot applicators. I think this keeps the ingredients as sanitary as possible and you can get a lot more wear out of this. You can keep it, I mean the longevity of this product will actually be a lot longer. I'm applying this onto the back of my hand and you can see it is a thicker consistency. However, when you start to blend it out, it blends gorgeous onto the skin. You do need to set this with a powder right away because it will crease like 
crazy um, and I have to do it almost instantly so I actually apply the concealer under one eye I powder and then I move on to the next eye apply and then powder right away just so I don't get that creasing this is one that I actually wear in the summertime a little bit more even though it is a little on the thicker side putting these two up against in battle duking it out which one's gonna come on top <laughs> the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. It is just a staple. Like I said, everybody knows this product. Everybody uses it. It applies beautifully with a beauty blender. And as long as you're powdering right away, this will not crease on you. And it looks gorgeous on the skin because of its full coverage. Now the reason the NARS didn't win for me is because it does look cakey and really thick on my skin and on my face. So unfortunately, as much as I love it, I use it very sparingly these days. Um, so it's not at the top of my list, but it's still one that I will use from time to time. My next battle for you is going to be between... The Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer as well as the Cover FX Concealer and Blemish Treatment. I love both of these two products. <coughs> Yikes! Ow, that one hurt. Oh, you know when you sneeze and it just hurts really bad? Huh. Probably not as worse as when you're trying to sneeze and you can't sneeze and it goes away. Ugh, how frustrating. Anyways, back to our regularly scheduled programming. I absolutely adore the Cover FX Concealer. Um, I do have a lot of acne on my skin and I love using this product here to cover it up because it also does contain salicylic acid which will help with blemish control and it makes a lot of things disappear. When you apply this, it is a little bit on the thicker side. It's kind of like the foundation sticks from Makeup Forever. When you blend it out, though, it blends beautifully onto the skin. Now, this is not a concealer that I would be using under my eyes. It is a concealer that I would be using on blemishes primarily. I love, love, love the finish of this, especially when you put a little bit of powder over it. It will cover up any bad boy that you have sprouting on your face because God knows we don't want anyone to see that. Jesus. A couple of weeks ago, I had um, a blemish that was appearing on my forehead, right in between my eyes. I look like a freaking unicorn. But with the help of the Cover FX concealer, I did not look like a unicorn for very long. The other concealer, the opponent, is the Clinique Foundation and Concealer 2 in 1. Now, I'm a big fan of all Clinique products. This is no exception. I like that it comes with a doe foot applicator. I actually don't use this as foundation. I just use this to conceal blemishes as well, which I thought would be perfect to put up against the, um, the Cover FX Concealer. So, as you can see, I just applied a little bit onto the back of my hand here, and I am blending it out. It gives you really Really great coverage and this will cover up any redness that you have on your face beautifully. Now like the Cover FX one you do need a powder when you are setting this so make sure that you set it well. As these two concealers duke it out who's gonna come on top? Oh I have to pick Cover FX <laughs> and it hurts me to do this because I really love the Clinique one as well um, but Cover FX comes out on top for me because it does have the salicylic acid in it so while it does cover up blemishes beautifully it will help with your skin as well it'll get rid of all of those blemishes or at least it'll help the process along and speed it up so that is why this product here will win for me each and every time and finally the last battle is going to be between two drugstore concealers. I have the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer and we are going up against the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This, my friends, is going to be a tough battle. With the Wake Me Up Concealer from Rimmel, I love that it has a vitamin C complex in it, so it is beautiful for brightening. Comes with a really great doe foot applicator. It's pretty standard amongst most concealers. And I love the way it applies. It is very medium coverage, light to medium, I would say, 
but it does brighten up the skin so nicely. So this is fantastic for under the eyes. It does not cake. You do have to set it like with all concealers, but it has such a gorgeous finish and beautiful consistency to it. The Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I love this product so much. Um, again, it comes in a doe foot applicator, although it's much smaller than any of the other ones that I've used in the past. It is beautiful for under the eye. It is also great for covering up any blemishes that you have. I think this is such a multi-purpose concealer. It has a beautiful consistency to it. Leans more towards the matte side. Of course, you do have to set it, um, but it does stay matte a lot longer and it does not crease and it does not budge throughout the day. I am a huge, huge fan of this one. As these two concealers duke it out and fight really hard, which one's gonna win? the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. <laughs> this one will always come on top for me. It is just such a great product and why it wins in this particular battle is because you can use it for both under the eyes to conceal any dark circles that you have, but you can also use it to cover up any blemishes. I don't feel like you can do that with the Rimmel Concealer, so that's why this one here will win in my books. All right guys, so that was the battle of concealers. Hopefully you you enjoyed this video and you had a little bit of fun watching it hopefully it was a little informative um, if you've got any questions feel free to comment in the comment section below I can't wait to chat with you and if you really like this video please hit that like button give it a big thumbs up and subscribe so you can get my videos in your newsfeed every single week every single day Hopefully. <laughs> I'm not sure what my posting schedule will be yet. I am definitely going to try to get a video up at least once a week. I'm going to give a big shout out to my nephew Savro because I promised him that I would and he is one of my biggest fans, always watching my videos. So, hi Savro. <laughs> All right. So, until the next one, have a great day and again, welcome to my house.